Hey, welcome back. So let's uh, play around with the redirect. So before when I added the name and the ID and pressed add, I would just went into a stupid string just showing um, the actual data that I want to return. But now I want to change it. So now instead it's when I write uh, like 44 and uh, Johnny, uh, it will actually do something else. It'll actually go, let me show the network again, because it will actually go to the actual page that we want to show um, to add, so it'll hit the action to add Johnny, but then it'll actually just redirect itself to index again. So let's try and do, we have to follow down here and see what happens. So let's do it, it hits store data, and it hits the breakpoint, and notice, instead of doing where we just returned a stupid string for before, I redirect to an action called index. What it'll do is it'll send you back up here to the index and just present the view again, right? So let's just continue here and see what happens. Notice that it, it will change here, boink, from store data, and then redirects back to person index file right here. So if I should close this down again and just show you, now Johnny's here. So let's do another one. Let's do 55 and do um, Billy and do an add. Yeah, I just press enter here. It'll go back to the store data and then it'll redirect you. Let me just remove that breakpoint. Redirect you back to the index page. So now we can actually start doing stuff here. 99, uh, Jill, enter, boink, Jill pops up. Uh, 101, um, Joey, Joy, I don't know why. But notice that it just, it goes to the action method to add to the uh, proper list, and then it just redirects me into the index that then goes and creates the view for me, right? So now I have a real loop. Now I can actually start doing a real, what you could in a real application, right? It seems legit now. and. This is just a VC, it's just a view, but it doesn't matter right now. I have just proved that I can actually start adding stuff to my list here, redirecting, and then come back to the page. So now the question is, in the future, we just have to, instead of store data locally, we just have to instead store the data in an actual database somewhere, right? And then come back and show it. That's all we're doing. So it works. So that was for the redirect, very simple. You just change it from here to where it, was, where it says string to action result, and then you just, instead of just returning a stupid string, you just redirect to a specific action inside this class, and in my case, it's called the index action. So I'm redirecting to here. Now that index action goes in and says, okay, then I'll generate a view with the list of all the persons available, and then I just return that view as HTML to the user. So again, if I just show you one last time, let me just go in here, let me just say, Add a new person, 199, um, Jilly, I'll say add, and notice that it, it does two calls to the back end. First the store data call, then the person call, right? So there are two calls to the back end. This is the first one where it says call store data, send the following parameters, 199 and Jilly, then go and make another call where we just get all the data from the URL called person slash index, right? So that's all for this lesson. I just wanted to show you the redirect. You're learning more and more about the action results that are available out there. See you in the next lesson where we'll start doing some more cool stuff.